It wasn't two rooms knocked in one. Ah, I see, yeah. Right, so they're all in one oh, room. Bar three. Bar, on the floor. Bar three of them were in the parlour. They were sleeping, they were out cold. But uh, that's how uh, all, all crammed in there. They'd all been with you to watch you play the game. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, the way they were. The but, um, well, and then all straight out, all back down the river in the night time. Oh. And it was open. Wouldn't have been a good but, time. Uh, we'd be walking home, as you say, and Len and Pat would say, oh, oh. call in their house. We'd go in there. Kath and Roy, New Year, open house in Kath's. Jesus. Were you calling Kath? No, no, you you'd, you'd no, go you'd there. Call the, we call, they'd have all the kids in Auntie Kath. Oh, right. And then right. they'd all go out then. <coughs> all the Kathers would go out then. Auntie Kath and Roy. But they'd be glinning and then looking after yeah. all the kids. And we'd be all in Auntie Kath. And then they'd all come back for 12 o'clock. Yeah. But I mean, uh, if they go, you know, anybody can come in there. Whoever wants to go in there, we could just come in there. Yeah. You could well, in them days. Can't today. The problem was, see, yeah, I used to, oh, I'm always, I was always out enjoying myself. But I mean, I used to always keep thinking, oh, what is she up to, like Lily, you know, because, I mean, she wouldn't keep her teeth in. She'd get drunk and everyone would know. Yeah, oh. I don't want to take her teeth in, she'd be sick in her mouth. Wow. <laughs> I remember Kathy yeah. was down the road. Yeah, so, uh, when uh, for each, she put it on the stairs to walk me up the stairs. Like, <laughs> she, she, got she, got up, she got up to bed, though. I must have only been about 14, 15, and I'd try and be sick again. Yeah. Grab a bowl. I had to take her half teeth out now, but I'd be sick in this bowl. And I'm thinking, what are you for, Dean? I shouldn't be doing it. You're still drinking, and I'd be No, I wasn't there. We were out. Because when I come home, they said, oh, Mum. It is home brew. Home brew, yeah. Home brew. But, um. Yeah, it was good in them days, wasn't it? I oh, yeah. I used to be looking after you, Mother. I used to have that violin now. <laughs> <laughs> I never But, um. <coughs> oh, and she's a pain then, see, because, I mean, you try to. How can I say? Break them in that there's no Father Christmas, you know what I mean? Yeah. By coming down the stairs with a full leg and plaster. Like, <laughs> yes! Yeah. <Some> boom! <laughs> boom! <laughs> Carrying the present, she's in bed sleeping. Yeah. Every Christmas Eve, you'd come uh. in and put the stockings on the bottom of the bed. Uh. Now, this, oh, every year he'd do it, and then never, but this particular year he'd had his knee in plaster and everything. From plaster from your down. And I would have thought, my mother would have said this year, oh, I'll do it this year, I'll have no oil, leave him carry on in it. So I thought he would do it was ka-dunk, ka-dunk. I opened my eye like that, and there's him coming across with a ka-dunk, ka-dunk. He's walking, I thought to myself, well, it's so wonderful. That pair didn't wake up, it was only me. No, no, but the thing was, we never used to wrap presents. They used to, yeah. Cathy's would be on the couch yeah. and Sharon's would be on the chair and Lily would be on the chair. So I thought, oh, let's wrap them this year. So I saved all the newspapers. Yeah. <laughs> I wrapped them all in newspapers and there was him sitting in the chair watching The Quiet Man. He'd never even put a bit of sticky tape on him. <laughs> <laughs> but now, different the days. I mean, that was. Well, 1973, coming up for 40 years. Well, oh, I'm in hospital now, right? You were smoking in bed, <laughs> you were all your cans in the drawer by yeah. right? Um, breakfast, Mr. Noel, and yeah, what do you want? Everything. So you've got black pudding, fried bacon, you know, all fried stuff. That's your breakfast. Come, you say this is 40 years ago yeah, now, yeah, yeah, compared to the day. Yeah. And the fella next to me, well, he had um, his dressing gown that he had on. Well, it had more holes in it than a bloody. What's the. Um, Stick a spoon. Oh, oh. <laughs> he'd had two legs off. So they'd get him out of bed and put him in the chair. And that's all we'd do then. And we'd shout, Nurse! Vic is burning again. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's on fire. He'd be there now smoking, see? Yeah. And he, you could see how easy it is, like the old people. And then he did my there and he got a skip. Of course, it would drop off. You know, <laughs> another hole in there. Uh, well, he was there now and he'd be leaning over now. Now, it's all I had was a cartilage. Right? Yeah. I had the, the easiest operation in the old wall then, you know, nothing. Yeah. They had broken legs, they had a broken back. Oh, no, no, but I couldn't go. They wouldn't leave out of bed with a cartilage then for nine days. You had to stay in there. Yeah. Well, of course, now I'm mobile as such, otherwise I couldn't get out of my 
But this Vic now next to me had no legs. But of course he'd start falling now. But it, he couldn't do nothing. He had to keep going, wouldn't he? Yeah. He like one of them. He like one of them weighted clowns, you know. <laughs> so I yeah, could push him back. Up, <laughs> so of course now he'd be off. You know, and I'd be having him going, and he'd off full by. And he said, he was like, what, which way did he mention it? It was like a Doug, the Douglas Bader film. But he went to his legs. Because he promised his piece he'd meet them. Now he's 60 odd then. <laughs> in the top rank, he was going to go dancing. And he went to his legs. Like, anyway. So I, I he was said something to him. Well, anyway, that night, I don't know whether he had a bad dream or whatever, but he hit the water all over him. But he told the nurses that I had thrown it over him. <laughs> oh, they were off. Because.